No messing around this time. Just a quickie. Um, just built this one. This is for our chap Tom. And, uh, you know, we got in touch. Used to, uh, you know, from UK, I spoke to him before on the forums and stuff. Said he's looking for a new marker. I said, son, I said, son, you, you ain't no chicken hawk. <laughs> I said, bye, I bye. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, this is the last hybrid I have um, in, in, in its format. Of course, now without the workshop and without the uh, milling machine and stuff, can't make these at the moment. But um, we will be looking at doing a production run of these. Uh, it's going to be, you know, a Gommies Workshop Phil Webb partnership. <laughs> oh my God, girlfriend. <laughs> And um, we're looking at hybrids, and of course, uh, the the gun you saw yesterday. Oh, the uh, the extra G. I don't know if that name's going to stick yet, but I, I kind of like the extra G. It kind of works out really well. And uh, I've got to give all all claim to um, Gary for that one, Napoleon himself. <laughs> Thank you, Gary, for naming the extra G. So we bang that back up. Uh, Tom, if you're watching, your gun is all done. I was out the back spraying paint with this. This shot exceptionally well, and uh, I had some really duffo paint. And this thing, it's like shooting an air rifle. It was really good. I even hit the target. Yeah. So um, that's done. Now that is the last one of these at 199 pounds. Um, for the foreseeable future, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to make any more. Um, the main thing I have to do with these is I have to do some milling on the trigger frame to get it to fit inside the G1 frame. And no, I do not use a Dremel, I use a milling machine. Yeah, I've saw, oh, I saw something today, uh, a guy doing some custom work on an Angel with a Dremel. A little bit of puke in my mouth at the time. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. But it's like, dude, sort your life out. Anyway, so that's is uh, Tom. That's your hybrid. This is going to be ready to rock and roll. My name's Gummy. I'm signing out because guess what? I'll go home. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye. Ah. Oh dear. Oh, I'm out the back. It's a bit overgrown out here today. Um, just thought I'd... Uh, I showed you this the other day in the uh, strange um, video, if you saw it, you know what I mean. Um, this is the G1 Mechanical <laughs> Extra G, I think we named it. And uh, I'm going to put some paint for it today. But I just want to show you how this thing shoots. It's like shooting an air rifle. It's so consistent, it's unbelievable. Um, watch this. Uh, you can see me old targets there, can't you? Watch how well this flies. Look at that. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah? <laughs> Fucking wicked. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I, I had to share this with you. Can you see them all right? That's absolutely fantastic. Let's just put, um, stick it on the chrono and we'll see what we've got on the chrono. Two eighty, so you know it's bang on the money. We'll uh, we'll slip some more paint in. It's uh, it's not special paint neither. It's like I don't know two star. Uh, training paint basically. So it's a bit walty and stuff. A bit dimply, but it seems to be working absolutely fine. So, here we go again. Check this shit out, man. Let's go for the little one. That's in there. This, these 
do need a double trigger. Okay, I'm glad I put that last shot out because there was still a round in there. And uh, of course, with the on off, it's that easy to make a weapon safe. And for me, working as a tech, that's brilliant because I've lost count the amount of people that come into the tech booth with a gun, it's gassed, it's aired, the air is on, got a hopper full of paint. Sometimes the gun is still switched on. No, don't tell me, but I mean, for me, it straight away is, mate, can you take your hopper off, can you take your bottle off, can you pass me a safe gun? And all I'm doing is uh, hooking up the barrel, looking down the breech, making sure that's totally safe. Once there's no paint in there, then I'll drain off the last shot out of the hopper. As you know, hoppers are almost like a one-way valve here. Yeah, you can put air into the hopper, but it won't come backwards out the gun. So normally, even if you've unscrewed the bottle, there's enough charge in the gun to fire one shot. Remember that. So, what do you think? Extra G. It's getting there, isn't it? So, uh, this would be the first mechanical mill sim, I suppose. Um, obviously, yeah, you've got Tipman 98s and 05s, but this is in a completely different world to those guns. A uh, completely different world. <laughs> Don't even go there, girlfriend. Anyway, so, till next time, I'm buggering off.